The husband of an 83-year-old woman who died from pufferfish poisoning last month had asked about her shortly before he passed away. Because we, we are worried that he can't take it, yes. but we kind of sense he knows. Um, the very first day that when he was awake, mm -hmm. I was with him. The moment he, he's awake, he asked me, where is mom? And I told him, uh, mom is at home. So, meet you do. And I saw his tears coming up. <laughs> and yesterday, he asked the same question to my third brother again. So, we kind of know, he probably knows. Yeah. <laughs> so, She told a press conference at her parents' house that her father, 84-year-old Ng Chuan Singh, alias Ng Kwa Singh, passed away at 6.10am on Saturday. Ailee added that he had been fighting for his life after consuming the same fish and did not know that his wife had died. She said her father woke up from an eight-day coma and after spending more than 10 days at the intensive care unit, he was transferred to the normal ward last Thursday. So uh, I, I left the hospital at 6.30 p.m. yesterday mm. and when I left the time, he was still able to converse mm. clearly and he can still recognize me. Mm. So, so I didn't expect that he could pass away this morning. So, uh, so sudden and, and I just couldn't accept. Eileen said according to the hospital, the cause of her father's death was pulmonary embolism. Her family was calling for justice for her parents. I hope the KKM Klong could expedite their investigation and bring those who, who is responsible for this incident, this uh, tragedies, and who has broken the act uh, under the Akta LKIM, the Peratoran Pemasaran Section 23, and also Akta Makanan 1983, Akta 281, Section 31A. I also hope that the government could strengthen the enforcement of the relevant act, as in Akta LKIM, Akta Makanan, to prevent any tragedies and also protect life. Also, governments should create more awareness and also educate the public to, to prevent any such tragedies from happening again and also to prevent the, the public from consuming such a dangerous Fish. Ask if the family has gotten an apology from the fishmonger who sold the fish to her parents. Ailee said he has yet to come forward. If anyone is not charged at the court, everybody is free. We cannot, we cannot accuse them for committed the crime until the court rules so. So far, did he on his own maybe apologize just as he just uh, No. Her father's death came just two weeks after her 83-year-old mother, Lim Siu Guan, passed away on March 25th. Lim's death was identified as food poisoning with neurological manifestations resulting in respiratory failure and irregular heart rate, possibly due to toxin ingestion. The couple had bought the fish unknowingly from a fishmonger on March 25th. Lim then fried the fish for lunch on the same day and began experiencing breathing difficulties and shivers while her husband started showing similar symptoms about an hour later.